Welcome to Cold Freedom. This is your host, Eddie Bales, and this is episode 231. And in today's episode, we're going to talk about why the journey is better than the destination. You know, I was listening to a message yesterday, and I thought it was so powerful, so I thought I, thought I would share with you. And since you're tuning in from YouTube, uh, I thought it was really, uh, you know, really kind of a, a relate for you guys. And so um, the lady said that there's no skip ad on your journey. And so you, if, you, if you're familiar with some of the YouTube videos, you want to watch that video. And you can't wait to see it, right? The thumbnail was nice. Um, the, the caption and the hook and all that good stuff. And we're like, man, I can't wait to see this video. But then you got to wait for a skip ad. And you're like, skip, skip, skip. And it just won't do anything because you got to wait this one out. So there is no skip ad in this season. And I think it's, 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 it's important for us to realize because, to be honest, the the journey is so much better than the destination. I know you want to be at the destination. You, it's like when you're in the car ride, you're like, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Like, can we get there already? But from a life perspective or a freedom perspective, you think about it this way. Once you get to that destination, now you're looking for the next destination, right? So it's like, you, you, you'll never really be satisfied when you get to the destination. But if you can take satisfaction in the growth that comes on the journey, I mean, think about it. You know, David was told that he was going to be king. Probably, I think, around maybe, all I know is he was a kid. Maybe 15 years old, I think it was. And he didn't become king until he was about 30. And so just imagine being told you're going to be um, the king everyone's already overlooking you, your, your own parents, your own father's overlooking you, your brother's overlooking you, you're hanging with the sheep, but yet you're all of a sudden given this glimmer of hope that you're going to be the king, and yet you still got to wait and go back to the sheep. I can't, I just can imagine that, you know? And so just understand that it was through that journey that he was being developed, molded, shaped, and becoming who he needed to be in order to be that king. You know what I mean? So think about people like Moses and the Israelites. I mean, look, they, they had an 11 day journey to the promised land, but yet it took 40 years. And by the way, let me make a note for you guys right there, because I, I want you to understand that sometimes you can cause the journey to be longer than it has to just because of your attitude. See, the only thing that we can control, two things is your attitude and your actions, your attitude and your actions. And by the way, if you let's just say you do the actions, but your attitude is wrong. Well, I believe it's still going to take longer because you didn't do it with a cheerful heart. You didn't do it in excellence. You did it kind of half heartedly because you had the attitude. So we got to control our attitude. You may have heard it said before, our attitude determines our altitude, right? So if you want to go up faster, if you want to get to the journey and get to the destination faster, you want to make sure you have the right positive attitude, a positive mental attitude. Um, because the Israelites complained and complained and complained. They're like, oh my God, we need food. And then God gives them food. And like, oh my God, we're tired of this food. <laughs> and then God's like, so after a while, God's like, trip is canceled, <laughs> right? Y'all just going to hang out here for a while because all of the complaining. So just understand that um, those are some things that are really going to shape you and help push you. But when you have the right mindset and the right perspective of this season, then you can get through it so much easier, so much better, because now you're embracing the molding. See, you know, Eric Thomas says this. He says, everybody wants to shine bright like a diamond, but nobody wants to be cut. And if you really think about that, you know, it's, it's a cutting season. It's the season of, prepara season of preparation. It's the season where you become everything you need to be so that you can be able to maintain that success level that level of success and advance it and continue to expand if you think about it a, a, a rubber band if, if a rubber band is idle for so long then when you pull that rubber band what happened it snaps apart because it lost its elasticity that it had because it hasn't been stretched in a long time and you're either growing or you're dying there is no in between so you got to be stretched because the stretching is strengthening i'll say that again in case you missed it the stretching is actually strengthening so we need the stretch we need the stretch so that we can um that we can get to and be and do all the things that we have to do 
But we have to embrace that. Embrace the fact that it's making us better. Again, season of preparation. So you get to say, look, I'm on my way. I'm getting there. I'm getting closer and closer. I feel myself getting there. You know, speak, affirm, affirm the right positive things because that's going to help you to lean into this season. And when you're, when you're waiting for that video, the ad to go through and, and get to finally get to the video, have it with a better attitude. You'll, you'll look at it a whole different way now. Um, now that you understand that we have to embrace this season of preparation, this journey, right? Because now we get a chance to become who we need to become. Because once you become, no one can ever take it away from you. And now you're ready for that level of success and greatness. Because you don't want to get there and then have it taken away from you simply because um, you weren't ready because you didn't prepare. You didn't cook long enough, so to speak. You didn't simmer. You weren't marinated in the oven long enough uh, to, to come out and be what you're supposed to be. So anyway, I, ho I hope you find this message valuable and important and helpful. And listen, it's a pleasure to be on. God bless you guys. Take care and we'll see you over the top.